there's a lot of stuff that's going on right here that nobody knows anything about. Well, anybody could just blend right in. Uh, obviously. And uh, and they are, they're smarter than we are. You know, there's been a lot of talk, even as far back as 1936, there was a lot of talk going on back then about aliens uh, living under Los Angeles, under the uh, tunnels in L.A. There's a whole world of, of caverns and caves and, and places under Los Angeles, as there is in probably in many big cities. But there's a whole city. Oh, yeah, before the show we were talking about how yeah. you know, that... that uh, Military base that's not far from here. You'll see the the air vents. Absolutely, and, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. That and there it's are obvious huge that that's bases what, uh, these ma massive bases underground that are used for who knows what. That's exactly right. So these underground cities and one of the largest underground facilities on the earth is a place called Pine Gap, Australia. It's in the exact middle of Australia, in the exact middle of Australia is a city called a little town called. Alice Springs, and under Alice Springs, way down a mile or so down under Alice Springs is a city, a whole city that the United States Air Force, the CIA, Britain, I think Germany is involved in it too, have a base that is so large, they have a downtown, they have shopping, I heard that they have electric cars down there, it's a huge uh, operation military city underground in Alice Springs, uh, which is in the middle of Australia, about a mile down. I heard that there were the Japanese put in fiber optics, heavy, big fiber optics, so that in the morning when the sun comes up, they cut out the harmful rays of the sun, but so that people could get up and go to work down there, they get the sunlight. The sunlight mm -hmm. comes in. And they can get up and go to work. And I heard that they have electric cars. They raise their own food down there. This is in Alice Springs, Australia. It's called Pine Gap. So hmm. go on the go on the web and go look up the, the word Pine Gap, Australia. There's some really strange stuff going on there. Oh well, you look at the even the the talk and discussion at under uh, Denver's airport is a complete underground city. And you walk through the I airport. I got news for you on that one. I I had a lady who was working for, um, uh, working on the Denver airport when it was first being done, and and she was working downstairs under the airport, and she videotaped for about a half hour videotape of all the construction going on under the Denver airport. When it was being done, it's supposed but to be a mega city under there. It's a huge operation going on underground, incredibly large, huge, big uh, sixteen wheelers, big double semi tractor trailers, uh, tractor trucks bringing in supplies from all over. Um, so she made me a copy. I still have a copy of it. I still have a, a, a DVD of all the original construction when they were actually building the place what they were building. And I mean, some of that stuff is really interesting. Well, they have a look at the symbolism throughout the airport when you walk through oh, the airport. Oh, God, the place the, is crawling with it. Yeah. I mean, all the different symbols of, uh, you know, almost the, you know, uh, Armageddon. Uh, yeah, and people like dying and, and chains and, and concentration camps and children dying and blood all over. It's, I don't know what the hell they're trying to tell you, but it's scary, whatever yeah, it's it is. it's definitely a little bizarre. They're all big time bizarre. Yeah.